Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. On behalf of the, the University of Strathclyde, I offer you a, a very warm, and I do mean warm, welcome to this uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful location, the Barony Hall. And we're here today for the congregation for the conferment of degrees. And this is the last ceremony uh, that we're having this summer. This is the, the 15th ceremony, and we've been having graduation ceremonies all week. It's a very, very special day. It's a day when our students, our graduates, transition from being part of the student body to being part of our alumni body. They become graduates. And for us, it is the high point of our whole year. And you can see from the turnout of my colleagues how important we place uh, on this day. And I know that many of you have come not just from Glasgow, but for all parts of the world. And given how special it is, you know, please don't hold back when your loved one is coming up to be capped. You know, celebrate with them, clap loudly, because we want this to be a day that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. So without further ado, I now declare this congregation open, and I invite Gillian Pallas, who is our Vice Dean Academic of Strathclyde Business School, to introduce the students. Executive Dean, in the name of the University and um, by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for research in the Department of Accounting and Finance, Ding Fang. Tiago Rodriguez Longcan. <laughs> Parishad Sinalapates. <laughs> For research in the Department of Economics. Oluwafiseo Titilopi Alabi. <laughs> Lauren McAnally. For research in the Department of Human Resource Management, James Main. <laughs> For research in the Department of Management Science, Abigail Rennie Colson. Agnesa Shapakova. <laughs> Seida Suku. <laughs> For research in the Department of Marketing, Jennifer Brannan Brahurst.
Natalie McDougall. Keith Laurie Piper. For the degree of Masters of Science. In Finance, Lampropoulos Haralambos. In International Accounting and Finance, Yao Yao Shi. <laughs> Yu He Ying. <laughs> In International Banking and Finance, Gao Hao Ri. In Investment and Finance, Nicholas Win Lam Chan. Brian Cooper. Gianluca Yapan. In Finance and Management, Abdul Majid Abdullah Al A Marai. In Applied Economics, Naila. Asan Khan. In Global Energy Management, Ellen Prizer Williams. In Economics and Finance, Lucas Alexander Brand Lucas. In Human Resource Management, Catherine McAdam. In operational research, Nicola Vari Campbell. <laughs> Jacob Cruza. <laughs> Lok Shan Lam. Andrew John Lowe. Adam James Rennie. David Edward Treadgold. In Business Analysis and Consulting, Ai Jing. <laughs> Chen Chen. <laughs> Di Hao. Duan Gunesh Dua.
Bahare Dun Dian. Gordon Cameron Gillespie. Yeah. Nikki Kavura. Yeah. Alison Little. Me bin Mohammed Jukifli <laughs> Callum George Prenti <laughs> Hendrik Prelip. Marika Salta <laughs> Dimitris Thalassinos <laughs> Ioannis Siakas Nadesta Emilova Vasileva <laughs> Propon Wuchi Gri V Boon Chinju <laughs> Yang In Tourism Marketing Management, Maria Mikalaki Vazaki. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Finance and Marketing, Benjamin Robertson. In marketing, Madeline May Scott. <laughs> Lindsay Amy McRae Anderson. <laughs> Amy Hannah Burns. Man E. Chong <laughs> Tessa Hamilton <laughs> Callum Hart Pierce Alexander Donald Houlihan. Bradley McDonald. Lauren Allison McKenzie. Rory William Blake Martin. <laughs> Jessica Masterton. <laughs> Chris
Christopher Ian James Munro. <laughs> Abigail Gabrielle Ann Robb. <laughs> Corey Ross. Sarah Vitanen. <laughs> Julia Watt. <laughs> Lucy Pauline Wilson. Danielle Carlin. <laughs> Vesta Varquez Habian. <laughs> In marketing with international study, Craig Michael McDonald French. Layla Catherine Noonan Reynolds. <laughs> Ross Alexander Beveridge. <laughs> Lara Cochran. Ethan Jacob Mill. <laughs> Lindsay Catherine Muir. <laughs> Megan Phillips. Anna Helen Todd. <laughs> Sean Waddle. <laughs> In marketing and business enterprise, Liam James Clancy. Nicole Kathleen Maguire. <laughs> Nedka Mikova Angelova. <laughs> Amy Gallagher. Joanna Isabel Condy Howard. <laughs> Simona Cristiva Cristiva. <laughs> Clemency Sky Ruth King. Gillian Sheena Morrison. <laughs> April Elizabeth Pollock. <laughs> Findlay Alexander Stephen. Daniel 
Anthony Zanairi. In marketing and business enterprise with international study. Connor Declan Brady. And Diapan Vishwanathan. Caitlin Coyle. Gareth Roberts. In marketing and business law, Marvin Rachel McEwen. Sarah Cundall. Andrew Dunbar. Ryan Galher. Lauren Kelly. Olivia Kelly. Emma Watt. Rachel McCall. Charlotte Strand. <laughs> Natalie Tonks. <laughs> In marketing and economics, Scott McMillan. Bobby White. In marketing and finance, Mark Bruff. Gemma Jacqueline Duncan. Katie Duncan. <laughs> Sophie Hughes. <laughs> Dominique Calista Limantoro. In marketing and hospitality and tourism management. Olivia Stevenson. <laughs> Daniela Sarah Gash. <laughs> Anna Nicola McDonald. Claire Morag Walker. Nicole Wilkins. In marketing 
and hospitality and tourism management with international study. Karen Jacqueline Burns. Morgan Pope. In marketing and human resource management, Kirsty Janice Aitken. William Anderson. Rebecca McMahon. Charlotte Meal. Natasha Pittman. Max Spittle. In marketing and human resource management with international study, Sophia Akhtar. Frances Eleanor Anderson. Giuseppe Antonio Caratolo. <laughs> Nicola Kate Russell. <laughs> Carly Irene Young. In marketing and management, Andrew David Flower, <laughs> Oliver Paul Lincoln, <laughs> James McCallum. Christy Radoslavova. <laughs> In marketing and management with international study, Lazarina Grigonova Stoyanova. <laughs> In marketing and psychology, Rona Ellen Blackwood. <laughs> Ekaterina Stefanova Minchiva. <laughs> Theodora Triandafolo. Saria Sengchang Rune Wanakun. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Administration, Leanne Connolly. Anna Gallica. <laughs> Ali Gishmat Abishzadi. <laughs> Hung Ming Ching. Win 
Shaw. Tommaso Giacomoni. Sanskriti Gupta. <laughs> Kei Yan Lee. Anna Helena Plez. Muhammad Hamza Saeed. <laughs> Masazumi Wantanebi. <laughs> Zhu Yang Zhang. Hong Xing Cheng. <laughs> Zhu Yu Geng. <laughs> San Kalp Sanjeev Naik. Deraj Ramra Thora. <laughs> Ifra Waka. <laughs> Zil Long Lin. Nabil Nidal Dali. <laughs> In business enterprise, Emini Zia Eva Jambalzova. <laughs> Kieran Lindsay. Nicolas La Blancherie. In economics, David Bromo. Andrew Callum Green. George David Hunter. In hospitality and tourism management, Peter Grant. In human resource management, Courtney Dodds. In management science, Shida Liba Gilani. Aaron Johnston. In marketing, Cece Lisa Antonia Leto. Sean Thomas Cairns. For the 
degree of Masters of Science in Marketing, Xi Jupeng. For the degree of Masters of Science in Business Analysis and Consulting, Moira Velavala Pali. <laughs> for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for research in the Department of Economics. Dari Samuel Owatemi. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, but most of all our graduates, it is a real pleasure to welcome you here to the Barony Hall, one of the jewels in Strathclyde's crown. I begin my address today by congratulating you once again on your academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off and it has now been recognised in front of your families, friends and the staff who taught and supported you during your time at Strathclyde. We know just how much work you've put in to get here today. Those late nights writing assignments, and those early winter mornings when you had to get in for a 9 a.m. lecture on a Friday, those evenings before the submission deadlines and your last assignment, a Friday afternoon graduation in 30 degrees heat. I assure you, we feel your pain on this stage. The wonderful French composer Claude Debussy said that music is the space between the notes. There's an interesting symmetry between beautiful music and academic success. The notes that we hear are your assignment grades, your exam marks, your degree award, today's graduation. However, it's the space between the notes that count. That's where the, the, the real true value is. That space represents those quiet hours of study, of the times when you, you were writing in your room on your own, of the reading times, of the listening times. Without that necessary space between those notes, you can have no music. And it's your hard work over the past few years at Strathclyde in that space between the notes that has led to your success today. And it is that recognition of your success that has led to such a large number of my colleagues and your family and friends to be here to honor your achievements. The joy and pride that we feel as Strathclyde members of staff when we hear of our ex-students, one of our Strathclyde family doing some good in the world or getting that job that they always wanted or overcoming their own hurdles to achieve something of note. It's one of the best parts of working at a university. And I say that from the perspective of not just the academics who teach you, but from our professional services staff, our program administrators, the, the, the staff who work behind the scenes that you don't see, uh, but they're all crucial to our success and your success. And on behalf of all of our Strathclyde staff and all your family and friends who are here today, I want to congratulate you. You absolutely deserve this, so congratulations. <laughs> In 
In just a few moments' time, you'll be asked to join the academic procession as we go up the, the center aisle. And this invitation symbolizes the fact that you are no longer students. You're full members of the Strathclyde community. It's an important moment for you all. The class of 2018 is graduating at a time of considerable change of, of uncertainty in Scotland, in the UK, Europe, and internationally. And there, there are no question, there's no question that, you know, there will be challenges ahead of you, uh, ahead of, for us all, but you're all members of that Strathclyde family and you belong to a large and ever-growing worldwide community of over 100,000 people across the world. And in terms of business school alumni, there are nearly 40,000. And we all have a shared ethos of tolerance and understanding and that desire to make a positive difference in the world. Whatever dreams you pursue in life, remember that you possess the most valuable assets anyone can have in today's world. You've got knowledge, you have the ability to innovate, to be entrepreneurial, to be creative, and you have the capacity to use your talents for the good of society. As graduates of, of this socially progressive university, you have a competitive advantage. You're equipped with the skills and the know-how and the life experiences to positively influence and shape the world around you. And as Strathclyders, and I'm one of them, we all carry a sense of duty to use what we have learned wisely and for the good of others. You're graduates from different backgrounds, from different cultures and societies. But irrespective of your life journey, I'm sure that you will have been given lots of advice on how to make the best of your lives. Some you will ignore, some may stick with you, but I think that most of all from your time here, it will be what you've experienced that will be your biggest learning. William Arthur Ward put it well when he said, greatness is not found in possessions, it's not found in power, position or prestige. Greatness is discovered in goodness, humility, service, and character. As a Strathclyde graduate, we want you to be the best professionals in the world, but we want you to be even better people. We want you to leverage the values of this wonderful university. Be bold, be ambitious, be innovative, collaborate, but most of all, focus on helping others. Be people-oriented, because this is what marks you out as a Strathclyder. This is what makes you distinctive. This is what makes you special. To reach this point in your lives today, each of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path would have been relatively easy, and for others, more difficult. But I'm certain of one thing. None of you would be here without the active support of your family and friends. They have picked you up when you've been down. They've encouraged you when you needed it. And they're here today to support you once again, proudly watching as you, you came across the stage. And I heard it in the cheers, and it was absolutely wonderful to hear that. Do you know why your friends and family are celebrating today? It's because you carry with you their hopes and dreams, their confidence that you can make this a better world. And for the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in our ears. So now I'm inviting you, our graduates, show your appreciation for the support of your family and friends, and especially for those who can be here and those who can't. We will actively keep in touch with you through our alumni and communications teams and I would ask that you too keep in touch with us. You can tell a lot about the values of an organisation by looking at its roots. Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796 when John Anderson, our founder, brought it into being. We're the only Scottish university founded in the Enlightenment with principles of reason, tolerance and equality. Anderson believed that useful learning and his commitment to taking knowledge and using it for the greater good 
is the motivating force which gives Strathclyde its momentum today. And it can be seen in your business school, which was named Business School of the Year in the prestigious UK-wide Times Higher Education Awards in 2016. It can be seen in our internationally renowned Technology and Innovation Centre. And that's transforming the way academics collaborate with business, industry and the public sector to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. TIC, as we call it, is a tangible sign of the university's commitment to world-class research and ensuring outcomes that have maximum benefit to society and the economy. And these represent only a small sample of the many innovative projects and initiatives led by our world-class academic and professional services colleagues. And they're taking new knowledge and using it to solve problems in industry, in the classroom and in boardrooms. Our business school's flagship building has been transformed with a £23 million investment. Work is underway just now in a £60 million teaching and learning hub. And our new £31 million Strathclyde sports building will open in the new semester. All in all, we've been investing £650 million in our estate over the last decade. It's unparalleled in the UK, it's fantastic. And what a year it's been for the faculty and the university. And we always use this point in the year to reflect on our successes and uh, let's share them with you. So let me just do a few of these. In the most recent Complete University Guide 2019, it came out just a few weeks ago. This covers 131 universities and 70 subjects. Strathclyde Business School was ranked first in the whole of the UK for accounting and finance and hospitality, leisure, recreation and tourism. Marketing was ranked second in the UK and business and management was ranked sixth. And Strathclyde is the only institution behind Cambridge that has had more top ranked subjects in the whole of the UK. That tells you how good we are as an institution and how pr proud we all should be of Strathclyde. The QA, QSTopMBA.com Return on Investment Report ranks Strathclyde's full-time MBA number one in the world for its payback period and also first in the UK for its salary, salary uplift. In terms of our social engagement, we launched Breaking Barriers Project with Enable Scotland and Scottish Power. And that program is the first in the UK to give young learners with learning disabilities aged 18 to 24, the opportunity to study for a certificate in applied business skills while gaining valuable experience in the workplace. And I'm delighted to, to, to say that two of our, our workers has now actually secured a permanent, permanent job. We launched a pioneering school-based mentoring program with MCR Pathways to create a groundbreaking accredited leadership training course, which is focused around mentoring young people from care backgrounds another segment of society that tends to get ignored. And we've developed a unique partnership with Clyde Bank firm Together Energy, a company that hires more than 90% of its staff from the most disadvantaged areas in Glasgow. We've piloted a, an articulation program that facilitates access to university through our university access program and then into our undergraduate degree. And we hope to roll this out across the rest of Scotland in the future. Two of our SBS students in, in marketing, Roxanne Collinett and Ellen Grieve, scooped the first prize in a UK-wide marketing competition run by Wilkinson Sword. And Julian Venkin from Management Science was runner-up in the National May Hicks Prize with his master project, which was at the Scottish Government. And I'm delighted to say that just last night, uh, Strathclyde won the top honour at the Hi Herald Higher Education Awards. We were named the Higher Educational Institute, Institution of the Year. It's a testament to our world-class staff and their commitment to their research, teaching, and engagement with our students. So please join with me in congratulating our absolutely wonderful staff who are here today. So these are the reasons why our graduates are so highly prized by companies looking to recruit the best talent to drive their businesses forward. And it's why world-class companies such as Rolls-Royce, 
GSK, Weir Group, Gab Babcock, Boeing, to name just a few, are investing in Strathclyde. And that is why we are leading research in business, innovation, energy, health, manufacturing and technology. So our success is in no small part due to the collective talent, effort and commitment of our staff. The 3,200 colleagues who pull together to deliver one vision, to be a leading international technological university that has societal improvement at its heart. We are all very proud of your achievements. And we know that you, the class of 2018, will demonstrate the power of useful learning in your career. We know you will make your dreams a reality. We know you will make a difference to the world in which we all live. Never forget, no matter where you are in the world, no matter which job or vocation in which you find yourself, as a Strathclyde graduate, you embody our institutional values. You are bold, you are ambitious, you're innovative, you're collaborative, you're people-oriented. You are Strathclyde. Thank you. So it's been hot, it's, uh, hopefully it wasn't too difficult to sit through, uh, but now it gives me pleasure to declare this congregation closed. We will now have an academic procession out of, uh, through the center aisle and our graduates will join the academics at the back. I ask all the family and friends who are here, uh, once the procession has gone on, to join us in the grounds of the Lord Todd, about 100 yards to the right. So thank you very much, have a great day, and please be upstanding. Thank you.